Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Hour review of me, Elvis. Um, you may have seen a video of mine lately um, at the beer kitchen from Wadworths. Um, I'm slowly, um, well, I'm starting to get my way through their beers. Um, not like it's a chore. I mean, I really want to drink them. They're fantastic beers. Um, this is this is their orange peel. Anyway, sorry, I, I have had a few today. It's, it's, it's still the Jubilee celebrations of uh, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Diamond Jubilee. So um, I've had a few drinks, but um, yeah, this is their orange peel anyway. Um, rich, golden and full-bodied with a sweet and tangy orange flavour and aromas of citrus, melon and spice. I don't normally read the taste notes, but they're right on the front of the bottle, so it's quite hard not to. So um, yeah, anyway, it's a 330ml brown uh, bottle. 6% um, ABV. Oh dear, I've got another one to do after this as well, so... I don't think I'm going to be talking too much on the next video, but <laughs> anyway, let's get this in the uh, in the glass. I got their nice Henry's IPA glass here. Uh, I'm going to pour it all in because, uh, like I say, it's only a 3:30. It's not bottle conditioned either. So, um, right now that is amber. It's not quite orange. It is amber, golden in colour. Loads of carbonation going on in there. Slight, not even a half a finger, pure white head. A little bit of lace in there. Let's get the nose in. Obviously I'm expecting orange because it says orange peel on it. And that is exactly what you get. Orange peel, very, it's, it's all orange flesh as well I'm getting off of that. And also like a, it's a deep rich fruit. Sweet. And also you get the citrus from the oranges. It's almost like if you were to just grate and squash an orange. That's the sort of smell you get. It's a little bit sweeter than an orange. Um, but that smells really exciting. I can't wait to get into this. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Now, sorry I thought I dribbled on myself then. Um, now, the first mouthfeel from that, it tastes like it's going to be like a Belgian triple because it's got that sweet, rich, sickly sort of Im immediate taste you get on your tongue from you, you work from a Belgian triple. Um, I'm not a big fan of Belgian triples, in fact, I really don't like them. But this isn't like that. It's kind of refreshing as well. It is very orangey and it is quite sweet. It has got a full body mouthfeel and you can feel the alcohol burn in the back of your throat. But it's got a good refreshing quality to it as well. It is slipping down quite nicely. Um, the origin is massively abundant as I, as I thought it would be but to be fair rich golden full body with a sweet and tangy orange flavor and aromas of citrus melon and spice yeah Munich malt US hops and orange peel provide complex complexity but with perfect balance yeah no that now no, it has to me that's got perfect balance because I, I think a Belgian triple is much much too sweet for my palate. But I've still got a nice bit of bitterness in there. Um, I won't read you the entire information about the beer kitchen because it's just the same on every bottle. But it just says, made with a blend of the best US hops, Munich malt and orange peel. A superb compliment to game. Oh, I love game. Game is fantastic. Um, I don't know what part of the world you're in, but game is like pheasant, 
uh, wild boar, um, um, phew, escapes me now. Other other sort of um, uh, sort of wild um, uh, meats that you well animals that you find in the in the forest and such. You know, fantastic. I love game. Great. Uh, Rabbit is one other one, by the way. Um, brewed by Wadworth and Co. Limited, Northgate Brewery Devices. www.wadworth.co.uk. Um, it's not. It is a good beer. Um, I don't think it's. It, 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 it hasn't blown me away like their IPA did. Um, But it's a very nice beer. It's very nice. Um, I'm a bit undecided about what to, what um, what to get. That it's definitely not session beer. You wouldn't session that. You would you would um, that, that that's that's just a sipping beer. Um, it's too powerful to session six percent. <clears throat> but I'm not sure what to give that. See, because it's. It's hard to think of an actual. See, a beer needs a purpose, and you know, I think a sipping beer needs a massive amount of flavour, like a good um, porter, or, or a, you know, a, a nice dark beer, or, or like a, a nice red ale, a, a powerful red ale, needs a good. You know, if you're going to only sip a pint or, or, or 330 millilitres, a half pint, what have you of it. It needs to be massive enough in flavour so that you don't really want to session it. Whereas this, it, it it's it's like six percent, but you're not getting an enormous amount of flavour from it. I mean, you could almost confuse that with a sort of four point eight percent, not a golden nail, but perhaps just. I don't know, not not even a bitter. I don't know, but it, it's almost like a it is like a a, a sort of four point eight percent beer. Um, you're not getting a huge amount out of it, so 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 really, it hasn't really got a purpose um, other than <laughs> other than being on a review. Um, yeah. So I mean, I think. To be fair, I think that's 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 just going to get a six and a half out of ten from me. It's a good beer. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not bursting in flavour for six percent that you just want to sip it all evening. Because I mean, you look. I mean, I've nearly drunk it all now because it, it just goes down so easily. Yeah, so I think that's going to get a six and a half out of ten from me. It's not the best in their range. Still a good beer. Still worth trying their range. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and I'll catch you again soon on another review. Cheers.